Hello everyone, Will and Alex here, and this is our friend Mike. And today we are in the neighborhood of Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia, retaking a photo. And Mike is showing us around the waterfront and the main street called King Street. Woo, woo! <laughs> Alexandria is a city with a fascinating past, from its role in the American Revolution to its charming streets and historic landmarks. Founded in 1749, it was originally part of the 10 Mile Square that formed the boundaries of the District of Columbia. Alexandria played a crucial role in the American Revolution, serving as a vital port and supply center. It was here that George Washington called for the formation of the Continental Army. During the Civil War, Alexandria was occupied by Union troops, and many historic buildings served as hospitals. Today, the city's old town preserves its 18th century charm, making it a popular destination for visitors. Our first photo to retake is this one, which reads, Presbyterian Meeting House, Alexandria. Unknown soldier of revolution lies here. Built in 1775, this church was founded by Scottish Presbyterians who were among the early European settlers of Northern Virginia. It's called a meeting house and not a church because at the time, the church was the Church of England. There were no other options, so it was called a meeting house. The building played a crucial role during the Revolutionary War. It served as a meeting place for local patriots, including George Washington, who worshipped here. It also hosted numerous patriotic events, including sermons, speeches, and public readings of the Declaration of Independence. The Meeting House stands as a symbol of the community's commitment to the American cause and is a registered National Historic Landmark. It continues to serve as an active church today, preserving its historical legacy while providing spiritual guidance to the community. As is mentioned in the book, adjacent to the church is the burial site of the unknown soldier of the revolution. The remains buried here were found nearby in 1826, and the current memorial was dedicated nearly 100 years later in 1929. Created by the National Society of the Children of the American Revolution, this memorial honors the unidentified soldiers who fought and sacrificed their lives during the Revolutionary War. The second photo we needed to retake is this one, which reads, George Washington Masonic National Memorial Temple towers over Alexandria. And towers it does. Look at it right next to the old town like that. It serves as a memorial to honor the life and achievements of George Washington, as well as the historical significance of Freemasonry in the United States. The temple was constructed between 1922 and 1970 and stands as an architectural marvel. Its design draws inspiration from the ancient lighthouse of Alexandria and incorporates neoclassical elements with its towering white columns and grand rotunda. Freemasonry has a rich history in Alexandria and the broader United States. Many of the founding fathers, including George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Paul Revere were Freemasons. Freemasonry promoted ideals such as liberty, equality, and brotherhood, which aligned with the principles of the American Revolution. The George Washington Masonic National Memorial Temple is open to the public and offers $20 guided tours several times a day. You can see more info on their website, which I will link for you below. Now let's move on to our recommendations for your visit to Alexandria. We have some great options for food, drinks, museums, activities, events, shopping, and day trips. First up, I'm going to share some restaurants. We've got Virtue Food and Grain, located in a historic grain warehouse. It offers a farm-to-table dining experience. Barca offers small plates and cocktails on a boat on the Potomac River. Volas has good seafood. Augie's is a popular beer and food joint with live music. And we ate breakfast at Chewish Deli and it was an amazing place for breakfast bagels and sandwiches. Next up, a couple of breweries and bars. 
We've got Port City Brewing Company, which is a craft beer brewery that offers tours and a tasting room. Captain Gregory's is a speakeasy style cocktail bar hidden inside a donut shop. 219 is a French Creole restaurant with a cigar lounge and live jazz venue upstairs. Light Horse is known for its live music. And Murphy's Grand Irish Pub is known to have live music and host trivia nights on Tuesday. Next up, a couple museums. The Carlisle House is a Georgian mansion that showcases life in the 18th century and offers guided tours. Gadsby's Tavern Museum was once a popular gathering place for figures like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. My friends and I went to the Stabler Leadbeater Apothecary Museum and it is like an 18th century apothecary frozen in time with a well-preserved collection of herbs, potions, and medical instruments. They offer different tours, including a Harry Potter one, which looks super nerdy and fun. A couple things to do around Alexandria. You can take a stroll along the waterfront in the Old Town and enjoy the views of the river. You can also take a boat tour or cruise along said river to enjoy the scenic beauty and learn about the history of the area. There are a number of different cruises available and the starting point seems to be around $25 for adults for a 45 minute tour. We also made a pit stop to the Spite House on Queen Street. It is known as the skinniest house in the country, standing at seven feet, six inches wide. Well, you gotta stand in front of it with your wingspan out. Will for scale. A oh, will for scale. <laughs> Dude, you're pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Stretch. <laughs> The Torpedo Factory Art Center is built in an old munitions plant and is home to the largest number of publicly accessible working artist studios in the U.S. There are three floors of artist studios where you can find unique artworks and crafts for purchase. A couple events and festivals to look out for. We've got George Washington's Birthday Parade. Held annually in February, this lively parade celebrates the birthday of the nation's first president with marching bands, floats, and reenactments. The Scottish Christmas Walk Parade takes place in December, and the parade features bagpipe bands, Scottish dancers, and a holiday market. Alexandria offers haunted colonial tours year-round, but they are especially cool in October. The Old Town Farmer's Market is held every Saturday on King Street. It is the oldest farmer's market in the country held continuously at the same site. The best places to go shopping in Alexandria are on King Street. It is the main shopping district in Old Town and is lined with boutiques, art galleries, and specialty shops. My friend specifically recommended Red Barn Mercantile, Twig Thrift, Old Town Shop, and made in ALX for local vendors and artisans. Lastly, I'll tell you about a couple day trips you can take from Alexandria. First, we have Mount Vernon, which is George Washington's historic estate. A full day admission and audio tour costs $28 for adults and $15 for kids ages 6 through 11. The National Harbor is located along the Potomac River, and this entertainment destination offers shopping, dining, waterfront activities, and even a Ferris wheel. You can reach it by taking a water taxi from Alexandria's waterfront. Annapolis, Maryland is a 45 minute drive away, and you can enjoy its picturesque waterfront, historic sites, and charming downtown area. We've actually just published a video on this, and I can link it below. Del Rey is about a five minute drive from Old Town and has super cute food and shopping options and a couple art fairs to look out for throughout the year. Thank you all for coming along with us to Alexandria, Virginia. As always, please subscribe to support our channel and leave your recommendations in the comments. We'll see you next time. Bye.